So here's another Houdini quick tip on faking simulation. Now sometimes you want to just fake the simulation just because you can have more control over where you position and move the points. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna simulate the kind of a bouncing and undulating effects of this line. Um, I'm gonna do that by using a few different attributes and I'll, I'll explain those now. Okay, so the first thing we need on here is we need like a curve U attribute. Um, or in this case, I've just named it at U, okay? Uh, and what that's going to do is that's going to give us a value which is relative between the beginning and end of this line, okay? So it's gonna be a float value which goes between zero and one. So 5.5 .5 would have a value of 0 0.5 there, okay? And that's a typical curve U, but in this case it's named U here, which you can see just there. Okay. So we've got this line with points on. We resampled this line to 10 points. We've got this attribute wrangle down in this section here. Um, and what we want to do is we're going to remap this. So we've got this seat channel ramp um, here called shape. Okay. And what we're doing is we're remapping it from zero. Okay up and then back down to zero here so it's about just over say 0 0.25 but this is something you can adjust and play with okay so what this gives us this gives us a number that's going to kind of rather than it being zero here and going up one it's kind of incrementing gets to the middle and then goes back down again and that's going to give us um, just a, a number where we can push these points up from the center and have that fall off on both sides so we, we can control the shape um, of this okay so that's the first section that we need to look at um, the next thing we need to look at we need to look at how we can drive this so we want to drive this over time and we have a value called time okay so we can use time to drive this but you know it we we can use time to drive it initially to so it moves up and down but we want to be able to create the fall off or like an easing in or easing out effect of this okay um, and what we're doing here is we're using um, a fit here um, and what we're doing is we're taking time and we're remapping it down to zero so it's going to be a value that's high and it's going to drop down to low to low um, and we can control so because we're using a channel ramp here because you can see here you know we're remapping the time down from a value down to zero okay then what we're doing is we're reshaping time um, and we're using this channel ramp um, and it's just down here so just let me select this you can see we've got this channel ramp so this allows us to then create an easing off effect of these points bouncing up and down okay so we'll have that so we'll have that kind of easing off effect so essentially it's we're going it's, you know it's going to be bouncing faster and then slower and slower and slower and slower and it's just going to ease off okay just like this once we've done that what we're going to do is we're going to then take all that information we've got and move the points we only need to move them in y okay so we're going to use sign which essentially is if we need to move anything kind of back and forth signs the thing we need we we'll use time to drive that now you can see i've used a multiplication of 10 just to speed up time before it gets calculated in the sign we're we'll times in that by the ramp and also by the decay so these two factors here will determine the shape the amplitude of how far this bounces up and down okay um, and also the um, the fall off there where we've got this times 10 we could also change that to another channel ramp and that would give us control over how far these points bounce up and down okay so sometimes this can be a really helpful technique and uh, avoid in simulations